guys welcome back it is a thursday in my life end of the week vlog i'm heading to nashville this weekend but i am currently about to head to the gym i have like a lot i gotta do today like packing and stuff like that so i just want to bring you guys along on my day anyway what's up hey it's my little gym outfit i'm wearing this little zip up from aritzia lula metal lines aloe Pilates socks and my hokas. My girl wants to say hello. <laughs> Wait until we finish our gym in our basement because then I can just start working out at home. Like we're gonna get a treadmill and I got like infrared space heaters so I could do hot Pilates in the basement. And then we're also gonna get an infrared sauna and stuff. So it's gonna be so nice to be able to just do my workouts at home and not have to like get in the car and go but anyway i'm at the gym i don't vlog in the gym i get like so nervous so just want to update you guys on what's up see you after our workout or my workout packages that I've received this morning watching some of Jess's video. We actually just got back from Nashville visiting Jess for the weekend. I didn't vlog. I kind of like took a weekend to relax because I feel like I've been so busy the last couple weeks and honestly like the last couple months now that September is like basically over. It's October next week. Oh my gosh. It's insane what the heck is going on anyway we had like a relaxing weekend it's kind of our last weekend of chill and kind of doing whatever we want to do Peyton season starts in a couple weeks preseason starts october 7th and i mean 8th i'm taking these hair skin and nail gummies by Lemmy, Lemmy Glow. I love the taste of Lemmy vitamins and the texture. I don't know if hair, skin, and nail vitamins do anything for you or even if they're like good for you or what is even in these vitamins. Like I don't even want to look at the ingredients, but I love the taste. My call is starting literally right now. It's 12. Let's run upstairs and hop on that. Okay, I have to clean up my office fairly quickly. I'm late! I'm late! Two minutes late to my call. I just got done with everything for the day and Peyton and I went to the grocery store for some groceries for dinner. Maggie, Graydon, and Mac are coming over for dinner today. We're having a little burger night. We tend to do dinner once a week or more than. Depends on kind of like our week. But I had a call. The last time you guys saw me, I think I was filling up my water bottle. Then I had a call with just like my the people that do my taxes and I just had, had to go over stuff like that and write a ton of checks and do basically everything that like you have to do as an adult and then started to finish filling out some addresses for our wedding not done yet fully but i think it's about like almost half or halfway done i'm about to upload a video on youtube so i'm gonna sit down before everyone gets over for dinner and i'm gonna post my revolve youtube video well it's a youtube video it's like a vlog with a little bit of a revolve haul in it 
but I show a ton of stuff in this video. It's actually a really good video. I was just watching it and I loved it. So I'm going to post that and I have to do my things like my description. I copy and paste out of my notes from my computer and I have to paste it and then I'm going to link all of the revolve items I talked about in this video and then I think since it's technically a sponsored video by revolve i can only do revolve links but thankfully a lot of like you can get a lot of stuff on revolve this video isn't sponsored by revolve but you can get a lot of stuff on revolve like a lot of makeup products um uggs stuff like that so i'm gonna try to link everything in this video i have no idea what to title it i have to make the thumbnail and all of that I may have to rewatch it one more time. It's been such a rainy day today, which kind of stinks. <gasps> hey y'all, we're making smashies. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey. What's hey. in the video? morning guys it is i want to say a couple days later i'm about to go take the dog on a walk i'm in my fall morning walking outfit i'm kidding i like am so cold this morning <laughs> it's like starting to actually feel like fall so let's go walk the girl got a new pair of uggs for the season because I had platform Uggs last year and I'm so over platform Uggs. It's just normal size Uggs. Normal size Uggs. But yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that. I'm so over platform Uggs. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead for a walk for about like 30 minutes. And then I have to get ready for my workout today. from my workout and then after my workout my brother actually called me when I was leaving and we just met for lunch so that was super nice to finally see him and like go get lunch I feel like I never see him because we have like totally different schedules he works and I'm like all over the place so I feel like when I finally slow down and like make time to see like people in my family i don't know it's just always so i don't know it's just so nice to like that was so much fun he's just so sweet and so cute and like i don't know i love my brother so yeah that was nice we went to sweet tomatoes which is so crazy that they have one outside of boston they have a couple locations in newton but there's a sweet tomatoes right across from my high school that I grew up going to, um, grew up going to my high school <laughs> in Dennis Yarmouth over in Yarmouth, South Yarmouth. They have a sweet tomatoes there. And so we went there, we got some sandwiches and just like split them and talked and chilled and stuff. But it was nice. I went to shower and I don't really have much else to do today, honestly. I have some wedding stuff to do actually. So I have to finish our guest list with all the addresses, go over some contracts, 
make some emails, plan some stuff. That's really all. Work-wise, I have something to record tomorrow for Revolve, but I'm thinking of being ahead of myself and getting it done today because I have the podcast tomorrow and some other stuff tomorrow. So I'm thinking of doing it today, but I don't know. It's really nice. Like the days that I like get my workout in and get stuff done like early on in the week where it comes to the end of the week and I like have stuff already finished and I'm like at a good place. It feels really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower and like relax for a minute, which is like so crazy. I feel like I haven't relaxed in weeks. I've been so busy with the wedding and stuff that and like work. So yeah, it's really nice. I'm gonna put my sweats back on from this morning after my shower though. Headed to the gym. I have teeth whiteners in my mouth. That's why I like can barely even talk, but I'm wearing this little onesie from Aritzia. My crew neck is a Bernie Melville. I like cut it and stuff. So it's like really open around the neck. Brandy socks. Teeth whiteners are Crest. My shoes are my Hoka Bondi 8s. Bag is Goyard. I have the big version. Everyone asks me what size. And mine is the big one. There's the GM or the PM. And I forget which one is which. And in my bag is stuff I can wear home. Because I'm going to sit in the sauna after I'm done doing 12 through 30. I just got back from the gym. And I just made some matcha. I have some matcha powder with water mixed up and some cinnamon on top of that and i need to grab honey i have some milk steamed right here i'm just gonna pour it in and then i like literally didn't have any more milk left i'm just gonna drizzle some honey on top you guys this is the best matcha recipe ever i use the peak tea matcha this is gonna taste like 2019 in a cup whoa it's like a blast from the past oh my god if you know my old videos where i made matcha every day i needed a little bit of an afternoon pick me up i have to show you guys what i got from the store actually so let me show you that real quick i got these two candles so this first one is the pumpkin and sweet vanilla I'm not a big fan, it's kind of cute, but oh, the smell is amazing. And then I got the sweet vanilla cinnamon, which is so, so, so good. Some fall candles from, these both are from Anthropology. And then I prepped for winter and I got this Christmas scented candle. This one is by Times, it's the Fraser Fur. And I got the Three Wick. And it smells so freaking good. I'm like so excited for winter now and Christmas and all that. But yeah, I just want to show you guys my little candles I picked up today. I'm about to go upstairs and I already showered at the gym, but like I took a cold rinse off shower. So I kind of feel gross and I need to like actually shower now. But yeah, I just want to show you guys the little candles I got and stuff like that. And then I have to prep for podcast in a couple but this matcha it's so good got this new little jacket from free people it's so cute i've been so obsessed with free people lately and i'm obsessed with this blue color i don't even know if this color like looks good on me but who cares i'm about to hop on for our podcast today i got everything my microphone my my AirPods. I need some bit lotion, some road peptide lip treatment in vanilla cake, my Palo Santo in a lighter, in my little shell that I keep my Palo Santo on so it can burn on there and then I just have the little ashes on it. But I'm gonna light my Palo Santo. 
I'm gonna open up Pinterest and I'm gonna go on Pinterest for the next five minutes and then hop on this podcast. I'm excited tonight. We're going to this like little event. Oh, we're going to dinner first. And then we're gonna go to this little event. Mark Wahlberg is like doing this little event in Boston. And it's at, it's in Seaports for like a new Moxie hotel, I think, in like Tequila, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just really excited to get dressed like to get all dressed up and go. I got this new little thing from Free People. I'll show you guys what I put on my outfit tonight if I end up wearing it with my outfit. It's like this little neck necklace vibe. We record our podcast on this new network that's on Google Chrome. It just makes podcasting so much easier. Not like it, podcasting was hard to deal with, but it's really nice because we don't have to like record anything. We just go on and our podcast agency records it from wherever they are in old California, but it's really, really cool. Hey guys, it's Emma and welcome back to another episode of Love You Bye. All right, we just got off of the, wait, you guys, <laughs> I'm like sitting here and I'm like, hi. Put a, I have this like little ring. Where is this ring from? I literally want to say it's like EP Jewels or something. And I'm sitting here, like, trying it on with my engagement ring, being like, wedding band. I do want a wedding band that's, like, full. Okay, wait, let me tell, like, let me talk first. I just wanted to address this, because you guys are going to be like, girl. Just got off the podcast, because just got done. This episode's going to be great. This is actually episode 49, I want to say. I think it's episode 49, and it comes out October 10th. I'm not sure when this vlog is going to be out, but if it's already out, if the episode's already out, go look at your calendar. If the episode is out, go listen. But it was a really good episode. We recorded with Claire Elizabeth. She is actually, whoa, she talks about, I really like following her on TikTok because she's very health and wellness and has a lot of good tips. And this episode was great. I'm actually going to take a lot of things that we talked about and implement them into my day like i wrote down there's this app she uses called open meditation i'm the type of person where like i want to get into meditation so does peyton but i like once i'm up i'm up honestly i can like sit down and meditate but if that's if i remember to do it and if i remember to do it will be like once a week if i'm going to be completely real with you guys so to implement meditation she literally does it when she wakes up in the morning still laying in bed and i was like that is such a good idea. So I really want to start using that app that she uses. And another thing, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, so I'm sure you all have heard of like Branch Basics, like a clean, clean cleaning brand. I've heard they're really good too. Everyone I know uses Branch Basics. I still use all the generic stuff that you can get at like CVS down the street because that's honestly like what's easiest for me is just being able to like, get the stuff when I run out of it. But I think I really want to start using branch, branch, branch basics, especially for like cortisol levels, because I definitely can feel that my cortisol levels are high lately. And I feel like I've been stressed lately, especially with like wedding planning and stuff. But stress leads, leads to like, you know, weight gain and all that type of stuff and it's just not good for you. So I really wanna do anything right now that kind of just like helps with my stress levels. Anyway, I'm just sitting here on Pinterest. I've like had this really insane obsession with Pinterest lately. I've always had an obsession with Pinterest like my whole life, but lately ugh, I've just been really into it. Like I just can't stop going on Pinterest. I seriously can't. I have to start getting ready soon because I'm actually heading to, which I told you guys this earlier, I'm heading to that event thing tonight, but we're going to dinner beforehand. We're going to do dinner at Moo at 6.30. Peyton just left like 20 minutes ago. He's going to go to the facility and shoot, shoot around some more. Anyway, so he's there right now. The second he gets home, which like he'll shower at the facility and like all that type of stuff. And the second he gets home, he'll get home at like six 
and he has to run upstairs and get ready he told me be ready so technically right now i have an hour and 10 minutes to get ready i don't really have to do that much to get ready i just have to do my makeup and i'm gonna wear my hair probably in a low either a low bun just a simple lower bun or i'm just gonna wear my hair down depending on how it dries right now it's not drying too nicely right here i think it dried too flat on my head we're gonna see how it dries and i have like an outfit in mind of what i want to wear but i haven't tried it on in person so wait you guys i have a really funny story okay this is like i'm going on a tangent i'm just thinking about like how i still have this ring on it's like really comfy and i was thinking about this time so maggie used to have this is hilarious because this happened to me in i think it was december this happened to me in december me maggie one second pain as i was saying i was thinking about this time in october i mean not october what am i saying last december maybe it was october october or december sometime between the months of october november and december and we went to lola obviously our normal day we went to lola one night got a couple drinks i think something's okay whenever i have specifically two and a half martinis at lola i'm like like it's too much for me back in the day i could like drink like a couple drinks and be like fine but now it's like i have like one or two one i'm like i kind of feel it two i'm like Woo! two and a half oh boy but like way back in the day i could drink like a couple high noons and like a couple nips and i'd be like anyway so as i was saying we went to lola one night i had one too many martinis and maggie had this like fake engagement ring and it literally was the same style as this just a little different and same style as mine and i put it on and i was like wearing it that night like as a joke i was just like mm, 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 mm. single as a pringle and I woke up with it on and I like don't remember the night like I don't remember like the night ending and I woke up and I was like What the heck is on my finger right now? It was so funny. I really need to clean my My ring it's a little foggy Underneath moisturizer, which I always try to take it off when I do moisturizer and stuff But I feel like moisturizer gets like caught underneath it I'll dress but like different options that they had that that's when I found my one. I'm gonna go get ready compared to Cleo. It's crazy. Baby, come here. Come here. No! <laughs> no! No! Okay, go. Go see mom. He doesn't care. He don't even care. Milo. Milo. Hello, Max. Hi. Been loving doing like week in my life vlogs lately, so I'm picking up the camera again. Hi, I'm heading to the grocery store to go buy some stuff for dinner, and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. So, yeah, I have an update to my office. I got a painting or a picture from Gray Milan, and I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. Like, if I'm saying it wrong, let me know. But how cute is it? Oh, wait, I literally, I forgot I took off my ring during my shower. So I have to put that back on. And also, I wanted to do my hair differently because I didn't really love the way I did it. I got these new little clips from J. Crew, and I'm like so obsessed with, I've been doing my hair I don't know how that looks, but I've been doing my hair in ponytails, but with a clip. 
Oh, there's literally a piece that's just like simply not in it. But anyway, about my art piece right here. It's an Erwan juice, you guys. Like, that is so me. If that's not the most me thing ever, then I don't know what is. Now when I do like my outfit shots, you see that in the back. I need to hang it though, but I haven't, I just haven't hung it yet. So yeah, anyway, I'm heading to the grocery store. I also got these new Adidas Sambas that are tan colored. I thought they're so cute. So for dinner tonight, I am making pesto pasta. Peyton loves pesto pasta. He doesn't like red pasta sauce. And I'm, it's hot outside you guys. It is literally 73 degrees out and I'm wearing a Sherpa jacket and it's like so hot. I'm like really sweating. Well anyway, so he doesn't like red pasta sauce he only likes pesto and I, I really want him to like red pasta sauce so bad like I want him to like it so bad and he's so cute though he only likes like white sauces or like butter and garlic and olive oil and like stuff like that or pe pesto obviously so I'm gonna make maybe insane but we're gonna keep this for like leftovers for the next couple days so he'll be able to have like leftover pesto pasta for like lunch tomorrow and whatnot. But I'm gonna make him his pesto pasta obviously. And then I'm also gonna make the bolognese that I always make. Well, I used to make. I haven't made it since living with him because obviously he doesn't like red sauce. It's my favorite though. It's so good. And so I'm gonna make it and let's I'm gonna I'm gonna have him try it. We're gonna see if he likes it. He normally doesn't like red sauce, but I'm gonna make him try a little bite. I like really, really highly doubt that he's even going to like it. I really highly doubt it, but we're gonna see. So I'm at the store and I'm gonna go pick up some stuff that we need for dinner. We finished up dinner and Peyton tried my, I was telling them how you don't like red sauce. He tried it. I didn't like it. He didn't like it. So thank God I made the pesto too. Just thought I'd update you guys. Should we, should we take her out real quick? But it was really good. I will put the recipe down below for mine that I had. Hi you guys, picking up the vlog again today. I just went to the hardware store actually. I feel like the hardware store is so not, like, I don't know. I don't know, I just feel like it's always so awkward and I'm in there because, do you know, okay. I don't know if this makes sense, but like, I can hang up a picture. I can like, do handy stuff, you know, whatever. Change a light bulb, whatever, etc. I feel like the guys that work at hardware stores like don't think that girls can do stuff like that and I was like looking for nails and I was in the wrong section and so I asked the guy I feel so awkward asking for help too because I don't want to like be like uh, can I have help because I can you know like I feel like I can do it myself but I asked for help and it was just like so awkward I just felt so awkward but anyway that's just my that's my tea for today I got my nails done this morning red daggers these things are daggers they're literally insane daggers i don't know i love my my longies i haven't had my long nails in so long and i felt like i was in the need of getting them because i feel like i just have so much going on when i just like this next week or so so i just needed like nails that wouldn't chip or anything but they're a little bit too pointy for me but in the moment, I was like, yeah, sure. But anyway, I got my nails in this morning. I went to Pilates this morning. So I feel like my mornings are the same every single day. Like I either, I wake up in the morning, I do my morning routine. I either go to Pilates or I go to the gym or, you know, whatever it is. But you guys see that every single day. So 
yeah, anyway. Got that type of stuff done today. Went to the hardware store, checked that off. I got a dress hemmed. I can't wait to show you guys the dress. I'll show it to you guys when I when I get it back. But I ordered this dress off of Saks. It's so cute. Because I have a gala to go to on Thursday and also a wedding to go to on Saturday. And I was like thinking in the shower today, like what the heck am I gonna wear to the wedding that I have on Saturday? But duh, I can just rewear the gala dress because the only person that's gonna see me in the dress from the gala is Peyton. And then he'll obviously be at the wedding with me, but like that doesn't matter. So I think I'm just gonna rewear my dress because it was loot and I I gotta get some wears out of it so it's a really pretty dress so I can't wait for you guys to see it and I wanted to do like red as kind of like a pop of color with the dress although I'm wearing silver shoes and stuff but I don't have silver earrings so I'm like mm, kind of iffy about that the rest of my jewelry is gold but who cares so I have a lot of stuff to get done kind of before the gala on Thursday which is nice that I'm getting my hair done tomorrow too and I'm gonna get a spray tan oh I'm so excited to get a spray tan it's spray tan season and I'm actually really sad I feel like I wasn't in the Sun a ton this summer so I didn't get like a natural base color but I'm definitely excited to get a spray tan I'm gonna get it Thursday morning though, so I don't know how that's really gonna work out. Like getting it morning of. I need to stop talking to you guys about what my plans are and just like show you what my plans are. It's October now. It's currently October 3rd, which is nuts. Oh my god! Duh! Oh my god, I, saying that out loud literally just makes like when I feel like when I said it's October 3rd in my head, the mean girls. <laughs> oh my god, this is so like kind of ick but the mean girls thing I like hear it in my head <laughs> got some new candles and I was just trimming the wicks and burning or lighting all of them and I totally forgot to tell you guys which ones I got so the white one is pumpkin clove from anthropology the like auburn color one is spiced cider and then this little pumpkin wooden pumpkin is this one's like one of my favorites it's pumpkin spice in black walnut so i'm gonna put this one upstairs in the hallway and then this one's gonna go into the front room or vice versa front room and kitchen so that our house whole entire house smells like fall i'm opening up some pr boxes now well I think they're PR. Yeah, they are PR. Except for this one thing. The Jenny Kane little, like, not buckets, like the baskets, the woven baskets are all sold out and you have to be on a wait list for them. And I really wanted to get one for blankets for our. Oh my gosh, I should have just gone to the store. I always forget that we have a Jenny Kane store here. But. I should have gone to the store to get the baskets. So I went on Amazon and I found a woven basket that looked similar. It wasn't the same color. Obviously, it looked similar though. But now that I got it in the mail, it's like really compact. I literally ordered it yesterday though, like last night, late last night, and it came today, which is great. But let's see how it looks. Hopefully it looks somewhat similar kind of like for the same idea that i'm going for <gasps> wait maybe it does i wanted one that was a little bit more structured because i have some in the basement and in our bedroom that's not structured but this looks fine yeah this is fine for it has little handles on the side but just for like blankets and stuff in this room i'll link it down below for you guys it's actually really nice it's very structured next package what should we open next i don't think any of these are for you she's lying <laughs> usually you have the like three quarters of the packages are mine okay huh. sure cleo did you get your little toy from downstairs she's like placing it down on the ground because she wants us to play okay come here bring it over here i'll play 
she won't do that and then next package this is the i've seen i've been seeing this all over people's stories today it's the cove essentials and page collab it's just like all the little hair clips and i'm really excited they're so cute i'm so glad that i got these look at it oh, how cute is that little hair clip a little forest green color and this brown one i was so excited for this one i love clips like this and then we have one of the big ones the big gray cute oh my goodness i love this one. Oh my gosh so cute how sweet is that next is oh i'm really excited about this one so my sister was talking about a PR box she got that had a lip balm in it that she really liked by the brand Sonsi. So we have a PR box from them right here. <gasps> Yay! I got their Super Serum Daily Hydrating and Calming Serum. And then I got the Deep Hydrating Treatment. It's like a mask. And the Basic Balm. This is an everyday little lip balm let me try it i love the packaging of this so pretty nice and buttery i feel like i'm the last person to get this one why look at how cute it is look at how cute this package is isn't this cute Peyton? yes i already opened it up but first we have the little road newsletter type idea oh wow it's just like all different pictures from the campaign i love this one and then we have Ooh. and then i took out the little um mirror and i put it in my purse already but it's all the new lip peptide treatment tints espresso raspberry jelly toast and ribbon i'm really excited for ribbon look at this <gasps> Ooh. wow peyton and i drink milk almond milk all the time it's like a staple in our house and we go through it so fast but they just sent me their holiday box. Introducing our holiday nog. <laughs> Have you ever had eggnog before? I don't like eggnog. I don't like it either. I've never had it before because I was always so scared of it, but they just sent us our ho their holiday nog. Oh, this packaging is so cute. It looks like, it looks like it's like little candies. How cute is this? <gasps> Aw, wow. <laughs> You can put it in iced lattes. That's probably so yummy. Huh. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it would be really good in a latte. It tastes very holiday. But I don't think I could drink that on its own. But definitely in a latte would be good. I got a PR box from, I don't know if you guys can even see it, it's so bright from David Yearman. I always get so like thrown off because the David Yearman logo is literally my high school's logo. So whenever I see it, I'm like, what are they doing? Like when, I, when they had the fashion week event with Sophia Ritchie, I was like so confused because it literally looks like my high school's lo logo. How do I open this? <gasps> Beautiful. Look at this box. That's with this bracelet, you guys. How pretty is this? This is from their new collection. This is from their David Yearman latest creation, the new sculpted cable bracelet. Wow. It's so cute. This is like a bangle type bracelet. Wait a minute. I don't think this is going to fit my wrist. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Just kidding. It does. No, it doesn't. Or does it? it? Just doesn't move. It's so cute though. Look at it. How sweet. Yay. 
morning you guys it is currently wednesday morning i woke up so tired this morning like i don't know what it was but i felt like a zombie i think i just like couldn't fall asleep last night i was kind of restless for a while and then finally i gave up and i went on my phone and then i just feel like when i go on my phone before bed and i'm up all night and like kind of restless i don't get a good sleep good quality sleep so I definitely feel like I didn't get a good quality sleep, even though I got seven hours. <laughs> that sounds like so, I'm like an eight hour, nine hour girl. We normally go to bed at like nine and I'll wake up at seven and I'm like, key, that's good. But last night I just couldn't fall asleep. I think I fell asleep at like 12. I still got up at seven, but I was like, oh, sleepy. Like I'm just having my coffee in like Athletic Greens and it's 10.30. Like that's nuts, I just sat outside in the sun and just let the sun like hit my face for a while because I was just like I need that after like kind of the night I had oh my gosh and an ice roll it would be so nice right now I love my skinny confidential ice roller although it has like icicles on it so I don't know if I don't know how to stop that or if that's okay but I have a pretty busy errand day today I'm like so sore from my Pilates yesterday I have to, I'm gonna go to Newberry Street and I was gonna go to the gym today but then I was like, wait, it's so nice outside. I might as well, it's like actually hot out. Like, how many degrees is it? 71 degrees right now and it feels like pretty hot outside. So instead of like walking on the treadmill in the gym, which I'm gonna do basically all winter long, I'm gonna go walk outside. I'm gonna walk down like Commonwealth, Newberry, all those streets and stuff because I have to go to the place where I got my wedding dress at 1 p.m. to try it on again because we have some like things we're doing to it. We're like switching it up. I don't know how to describe it without giving it away, but there's some things we're adding to it. So I have to go in to kind of like makeshift the additions and get a photo because when we were trying on the dresses and when I was like said yes to it that that day I said yes to the dress right but we didn't take any pictures with like the additions we had talked about so I'm gonna go in today we're gonna add everything I think I'm gonna like try on a couple veils because I know last time we like weren't really focusing on the veil I mean I don't really need to focus on the veil but if we want to do something that is like matching the dress then we should probably talk about that before like the designer starts to make the dress and stuff so i have that today at one which isn't for a little bit but as i said i wanted to go walk and stuff and then i have some stores i need to stop into so we came to a dilemma we have a gala on thursday and peyton told me like weeks ago he was like okay like i'm wearing all black to the gala i was like great i'm gonna order a black dress so I order a black dress and stuff because I literally like don't have any dresses. I don't know how, which I thought I would, but I don't. And so I order a black dress, like this like really, really, really pretty dress. And I bring it to get the alterations yesterday. And then I'm like all day yesterday looking for Peyton's suit because I have to get it dry cleaned before Thursday. So I'm looking for it everywhere. I can't find the suit. I find the jacket and undershirt, no pants. So I'm like, shoot, like this kid doesn't have his suit pants. I don't know where they are. I'm having my mom, my mom has like six bags of his clothes to sell like on Poshmark and stuff like that, like things to get rid of. And I'm like looking, I'm having her look through the bags cause maybe he like put the pair of pants in there like to get rid of. So we're gonna look, see, like I hope she has them or else he's gonna wear, he has this navy blue suit but like I ordered a black dress and like black and navy blue, like it's fine. Like it doesn't, it literally in, it doesn't matter, but like in my head, I don't know. So I'm either gonna have to get a new dress or I don't know, but my dress I got was loot too. So like I want to wear it obviously or and I already made alterations to it, so like I can't really return it, but we're gonna figure it out. Hopefully my mom can find his pants. And I literally would just like steam them myself. I need to actually ask if she's looked yet. 
And then I have a hair appointment today too. I don't know, I'm like conflicted because part of me wants to go dark and then do highlights later on, like just make my hair all one color right now or add some more highlights to it. But I don't like how it's like literally ombre. Like I think it looks so bad right now. Like my hair just looks really bad. So I don't know what to do. Guys, I'm so handy. I hung up my oyster painting and my Air One picture by everyone's been asking it's by gray milan and it's so cute i'm obsessed with it you guys i'm literally trekking up a mountainside right now like we are on a full-blown steep hill <laughs> what is going on oh my gosh okay so listen to this it's been a crazy morning i was like looking around the house because i was like there's no way that this man loses his suit pants just pants too like and it has the jacket and the shirts there's no way that the pants are just missing. So I'm like thinking back, retracing steps. I'm checking all the closets. I'm literally checking everywhere. And I come to remember before we moved out, Peyton got rid of a ton of clothes. Didn't fully get rid of them though. He put them in bags and we gave them to my mom. My mom sells all of my things on Poshmark, which you guys know. And so we were gonna start up a Poshmark page for Peyton and sell all his good stuff, cause he has some good stuff. And so I have my mom check the bags. I'm like, there's no way. There's literally no way that this man's pants are gone. So my mom looks at the bags, checks all the bags. There's like six and she finds the pants. So I have the jacket and two dress shirts in my car right now. I'm about to go get them pressed. The dry cleaner. They don't need to get cleaned, they're fine, but we just gotta press them. We're in a time crunch. My mom's gonna steam the pants and hopefully this all works out, but cross your fingers for us. I am heading there now, right before I have to head to the wedding dress store to go try on my dress. Thank God that that's not gonna take too long because I'm like, hopefully not gonna run late. I think I'm making perfect time. I didn't even get to show you guys my outfit, but I'm wearing this new tank top that I just got. I got it off of this website called Tank Air. And it's really cute, it's like a white tank top. Guys, it's hot outside, it's 84 degrees and it's fall. It's like really, really weird. I'm wearing jeans and a tank top and I'm sweating right now because it's so hot out. But it's October 4th, it's literally October. Under the 25, isn't it? Oh. Cool? So they're building 25, I'm building yeah. 26. Cool, but isn't it, it kind of cool? <gasps> Zeus! Yeah, you should do a video. Hi. When I have my booth set up. Hello, little man. I'll have you come back. I know, I'll come back to see when it's fully done. So I got my spray tan. As you can tell, the literal difference in my chest and neck to my face. But I had to, because, okay, I think I like shouldn't have done this but i was planning on getting my spray tan this morning and being able to shower before i get ready and stuff blah blah, blah. and then Peyton tells me today that we have to be ready and be there by 5 30 and i was like oh my gosh so i'm gonna have to shower like way earlier on or just wear my spray tan <laughs> wear my spray tan to the gala i decided to go the deepest with the spray tan so that when I shower around like, honestly, I'll probably shower around like four and see if I still have some color. Who knows? Like, let's hope and pray. I think I will, because look at this. It looks actually insane. Like I was just in my mom's store. I met the owner of the store where my mom, like the place where my mom has her store. And I was like, hi, yeah, my spray tan's like all messed up. She's probably like, this girl looks crazy. But anyway, my mom has a new store, that's where I just was because I had to meet her obviously to pick up Peyton's suit pants and her new store, I don't know the name of the building but she has a store in a building that has like other stores too, she just like rents space and it's a really cool building because it has a lot of antiques. So my mom's store is clothing, she sells clothing and antiques that she finds that are really, really, really special pieces. And my mom has a really good eye. Like she has the best sense of style and I 
maybe I'm just saying that because like I'm biased and she's my mom but like no joke our house growing up literally looked like it could have been coming out of like the Pottery Barn catalog like my mom is very good at decorating and so I always go to her for like anything I need and I was walking through the store and there's like a bar cart I was like wait I need to get this bar cart it's so cute there's a lot of really cute things in there this road is so bumpy it's making you guys like bump around the store I forget what it's called I think it's called out of the closet out of closet it's in Norwood but I do know the address the address is 31 Endicott Street in Norwood and my mom's is in building 25 but yeah hers is really cute it's just like a little like space and it has all her stuff in it like clothing section antiques and all that and i want to go back and spend a day there like looking at everything around the store because that place is so cool and it has just the coolest pieces ever i took some photos of some stuff that i really liked and I like want to either have my mom just like grab it for me one day or I'll go back down and grab it but really cute like I found these vintage jars that go on your countertop that are for like coffee like the jars said coffee tea flour sugar on them and there were these like cream sorry my seatbelt I don't want it to like sit on my skin because of my spray tan but it was like a cream jar with like a red top and then the writing of like coffee tea all that was in red and for all of those which was one singular one should be like a hundred dollars for all of them was a hundred dollars like the prices there were so amazing i was like what the heck so i want to go back for sure i'm heading home now and i wish i could shower like i wish it was already set in and everything so i could shower but it's not i had Pilates this morning again. I brought Peyton's mom with me and It was so much fun. It was a really good class. I Loved it I love going to my Boston body Pilates. I haven't been in so long because I wasn't here all summer and then we moved and I was like How am I gonna get all the way to Boston body because the one I used to go to was in the north end and we obviously live out of the city now but I found the location, not found, but the location in Norwood is, not Norwood, location in New Inn is close, so it's nice to go there.